Hey, what's up you guys? It's Cynthia. So this week's video, I'm going to talk about something that happened last week that kind of changed my whole perspective on the power of your phone. So if you didn't know, I'm in college and I live two hours away from my home. And that has a big toll on me because my phone has everything. It has my email, it has my text messages, and it has FaceTime. And FaceTime is a big, big deal for me because me being two hours away, I don't get to talk to my mom as often as I'd like to. So FaceTiming her once a day is my fix. So that last weekend I was here and I, Saturday my phone kept dying at 65%. Like I'd use it for a little bit and then it'd die because it'd be on 65%. Then all of Sunday it stayed at 100%. Like every time I'd look it'd say 100%, 100%. And then I f finished FaceTiming my mom Saturday, Sunday night. And I went to bed and I plugged my phone in and like things acting like normal, same old, same old. Monday morning, instead of hearing my alarm, because my phone has, I have, what is it called? It's called like bedtime. It tracks my sleeping habits because you need sleep in college and like you need to track your sleep. And like, it's something I like. Like last night I got six hours and... Okay. Let's see if it shows it. Six hours and that 16 minutes. And like the night before I get six hours and 45 minutes. And I always track it because it just makes me curious. And so I have that set up and I wake up at six and I get ready for school. And Monday morning it was just like nothing had happened. I looked at the time. It was like six o'clock. And it was odd, so, I, like my phone was hot, and it had a battery light, and it was flat. And it kind of freaked me out, so I spent most of the morning, before I got ready for school, doing that. Like, I'd do something, then I'd check my phone, do something, I changed outlets like three times, and every time it would just like not. And I'm only at school for like six hours. So I left my phone plugged in all day while I was at school and then came back and it was just dead. So um, I called my mom, actually my both of them on my roommate's phone, and said my phone's completely dead. And um, Tuesday, was that Tuesday? Tuesday afternoon I drove back home. I drove two hours to get a new phone because I need it. I need it for emails. I check my email every day. I read my emails and stuff. And I get my new phone Tuesday after noon. And like I, I read my emails. And there were too many emails I missed. When I checked it at school, there weren't any. And I missed an important email. I still got back to them. But it was an email I needed to reply to as soon as possible. And it bugged me. When you realize, you don't realize how much you need your phone until you don't have it. Me being two hours away, I need, like, needing my phone, it felt so weird, like, during the day, like, not checking Instagram, not checking Snapchat, not reading emails, it just felt weird. And, um, before I had the iPhone 6, now I have the iPhone 7, it's still the same case, bought this PopSocket 18T to, uh, like, the last time I was home, two times when I was home, and it just felt weird, but I got the 7 in gold. It looks exactly like my old phone, and it just felt weird, and now having my phone, I just, and I have 128 gigs, which is nice, but some, it's just like, I don't know how I feel anymore. Like, going that day, like, I talked to my mom for, like, my parents for, like, five minutes last week that day, and it felt so weird not having my long conversations I have with my mom, and it just felt weird. So, you know, never take granted what your phone does, like, take for granted what you have, because, like, when it's gone, it's odd, and it's gone, and you don't know how to feel. 
So thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye guys.